will never make it. I want it to be right. I, 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 I just, I have to make this right. Look, look, look. That looks like a good spot. It is. Calendars. Okay, this is a dialogue between the artist and the audience. Okay. It doesn't work. Looks good to me, but Gracias, oh, what do I know? Bravo, Ricardo. Magnifico. Gracias. Uh, Uncle Lowell, you're back. Oh, I missed you. It's good because I missed you too. Miss Fuentes. Mm. Senor Kincaid. Mm, you never fail to make my day. Matthew? Lowell? And this, congratulations. Gracias. That speaks to you. No, Ricardo, it doesn't speak to me. No. It sings. <laughs> Muchas gracias, señor Lord. Muchas gracias. <laughs> How was Mexico? It was muggy and dirty and noisy and wonderful. Did my parcel come yet? What parcel? You remember I told you I was shipping some artifacts from Mexico home and you said to ship them through the gallery I and... I haven't seen it. It should be here by now. Amy, has anything arrived from Mexico? A wooden box about this big? No, nothing from Mexico. Well, maybe it's stuck in customs. I could check. Would you do that? No. Listen, I better be going. Wait, you just got here. I haven't seen you for a month. I haven't even been home yet. You can go home later. I need a break. Come on. OK, lunch. We won't be long. Oh, I'll well, take your time. I'm gonna head back to the office. Bye. See ya, Lowell. Anything for Uncle Lowell? He's been away. He wants to see her. Don't take it personally. Oh, come on, Amy. It happens every time. It's like I'm a piece of furniture. He's jealous. Right. No, really. Come on, you know Lowell. He always has to be the center of attention. And now you come along. Mm -hmm. The handsome young man is going to take her away. <laughs> so I'm a threat. <laughs> Absolutamente. It's classic. And she's the only family he's got. So what do you think? What do you really think? Am I crazy? Are they going to laugh me out of town? Tell me I haven't lost my mind. It's too late now, isn't it? Thanks. A little Montezuma's Revenge, maybe? Sorry? You're not eating. And you're cranky. Well, your uncle's getting old, my sweet, and old people tend to get cranky. So what were you doing in Mexico for a month? Visiting friends, reliving my youth. That sounds awfully sentimental. Maybe you are getting old. Well, I am a retired civil servant. Uh, much more boring and sensible than you give me credit for. And speaking of boring and sensible, how's our young Matthew? Hello? Well, not usually this disorganized. Who's the artist? Uh, voila, Ricardo Montero. Your work, it, it's fabulous. Thank you. Thank you, senor. Carl Spencer. Amy Fuentes. Sorry, Amy, I'll see you later. Great, uh, this is Matt Colby. 
Mac Colby, Colby McDougal. And that'd be me. I was told if I wanted to buy real estate, you're the man to talk to. Well, what did you have in mind? He's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Do you love him? I want a simple life. Mm -hmm. Someone to love who will love me back. I don't want to spend the rest of my life alone. Like me. I know he loves you. I didn't say he was a fool. <laughs> so let's just cut to the chase. I'm authorized to buy up all this old warehouse land along the waterfront. Well, have you had a look around? It's not exactly picturesque. Actually, it's really ugly. Dare to dream, guys. The potential is there. It's just waiting to be exploited. Now, we're going to turn this town into Carmel East. I was hoping we could scout around. You give me an idea about what's available, how many pounds of flesh it's going to cost me. I'll get the car, take a little drive, see what you have in mind. Now, talk to Matt. I mean, if you two are going to get married, he might want to be there. Why don't you like him? I didn't say I didn't like him. I just said he was sensible. How come when you say sensible, it sounds like a terrible insult? <laughs> when was the last time you had a checkup? You stop nagging. I'm not nagging. I'm worrying. You're the only Uncle Lowell I've got. I'm fine. Adios, muchacha. Have a nice day. Call customs. What? My parcel from Mexico. Call customs. OK, OK. Mostly people are putting in uh, restaurants, craft galleries. But condominiums is a whole other kettle of fish, but I don't see why not. El Mundo Latino is not a craft gallery. Well, it started out that way, but Sarah is determined to turn it into something more uh, sophisticated. Mm -hmm. Sarah? Oh, Sarah, Fraser, my fiance. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I found her the place, uh, did the legals on the lease, and uh, put a few bucks in myself. Well, so, good investment? The best I ever made. Yeah. <laughs> I hope. Uh, what's the history? You two high school sweethearts? Yeah, she's from Delaware. Uh-huh. How'd she come here? Well, her dad died when she was a kid, and her mom died a few years ago. She's got an uncle up here with a place, so she moved here. And I got to meet her, thanks to Uncle Lowell. Right, Lowell Fraser. That sounds familiar. No, Kincaid. Lowell Kincaid. Used to be some sort of diplomat. So I guess they're close, huh? Oh, very. So I think he's a little jealous. Ah, oh. yeah, it's okay. I understand. So condos, mm -hmm. a mall. That's a good idea. There may be some problem with the zoning, but uh, yeah, I think I know who I can talk to.
Gabriel, from Jehovah, breathe the covenant. I have some new artifacts I'd love to show you. The sooner, the better, or maybe not at all. Please trust me, contact me. talking about a huge complex from one end of the pier to the other. And he just walks into the gallery looking for you? Yeah, I know. Oh, I know, but listen, I called his references, he checks out. It all seems to be on the left. I'm really happy for you. Well, for us. So I thought maybe tomorrow night. Four of us? Dinner? Four of us? Oh, he and Amy really hit it off. Oh. I'm just not sure where to take him, though. Yes, you are. And I'll do my poach, Sam, and if you and Amy help. She already said yes. Would you mind if I asked Uncle Lowell? Why? I don't know. He wasn't right today. He seemed almost lonely. Didn't you think he looked tired? Yeah, I thought he looked his age. Sir, this is a business dinner for me. I want to impress the socks off this guy, and your uncle makes me nervous. He's always got to be the main attraction. That's not true. It's just that people like him. He's an interesting guy. Sir, please. Another time. Tomorrow night, I got to be confident. Be at my best. OK. I won't go all.
Final call for flight 225 to Paris. Final call for flight 225 to Paris. I thought I heard somebody. Who are you? Well, I could ask you the same question. Who are you? How did you get in? The key was in the birdhouse in the front lawn. In Mexico City, it was a Bougainvillea bush. I think he must have seen that in a movie when he was a kid or something. You didn't answer my question. Who are you? All right, Tim Jenkins. TJ Software. I'm a computer geek from Washington. I helped set up the computer system for Lowell when he was stationed at the embassy there. Here's my Visa, my MasterCard, my Amex, my health club. He called me, told me his computer system kept shutting down. So I came and told him I'd help him with a hard drive. How many people know about this place? Well, your computer geeks know everything these days. It's a sign of the times. <laughs> when did he call you? Is this a trick question? He didn't call me, he emailed me. We can look through his email file if you have his password. Do I look dangerous to you? Well, you're a total stranger in my uncle's house, and uh, here's me all by myself. Pardon me if I'm a little wary. Sign of the times. Your uncle? Lowell? Yeah, my mother's brother. I, he never mentioned you. Did I? Well, it's a pleasure. I had no idea. I'm sure he's in town, shopping or something. There's a town, I presume. I would have seen him uh, on the way out. I'm sure he'll be back soon. Well, I was looking in that fridge for something to eat because I'm starving. There's got to be something in there. Well, uh, why don't you try the seafood place back up on the highway? It's not bad. Okay. 
I'll go with you. Oh, okay. Where's your car? <gasps> it's parked up there. <laughs> About those letters of transit. How soon will I see you? If at all. Anxiously, Jay. I thought it surprised him, but I guess he got me first. Boy, are you suspicious. Why don't I take my own car and I'll follow you? Amy, what is that? I don't know. It's from Mexico. Ah, must be Lowell stuff. Tacky. <laughs> que horrible. Que terrible. Yeah. Ricardo, put it back. Yeah. El Mondo. It's me. Ah, no. Your box is here. Well, that's good. Ricardo. I'm someplace safe. Yeah. I'll pick it up when I get back. Back from where? Paris. What in God's name are you doing in Paris? Well, right now I'm sitting in the Tuileries garden, munching a baguette, waiting for a friend. A woman? Don't ask. I'm innocent of all charges. Is Sarah there? Well, as a matter of fact, she's on her way to your place. Why? Well, she said you looked a little tired. She wanted to see how you were. Call her at the house, tell her I'm fine, and, uh... Tell her if she stops nagging me, I'll bring her a wedding present. And listen, uh, put the uh, put the box somewhere where no one will trip over it. Valuable stuff. To me. Adieu, Amy. Gabriel, are you there? Please acknowledge Jehovah. So, who's the artist? Ricardo Montero. He's Costa Rican. He's very bold. He does these oversized people. Like Patero. Very much. These incredible colors and settings. It's funny, it's... Entertaining? Shh, art that entertains. A critic might hear you. No. Oh, people's tastes are pretty conventional here. I don't know how they'll react. Well, if they feel that they're being patronized, I'm sure they won't like it. But if they can find something that connects to their own lives, why wouldn't they like it? You're making me feel very good. And I've got a suspicion you're doing it on purpose. <laughs> there you go again. <laughs> why would I do that? I don't know. But you're not like any computer geek I've met. For starters, where's your pen case? No, no. No, nerds wear those. I'm a geek. <laughs> so you're from Washington? Interrogation resumes. Yes, I'm from Washington. May I clear these for you? Thanks. Thanks. There you go. So, family there? Family where? Washington. No. No, what about you? You, are uh, you married? Engaged. Huh. Well, congratulations. Thanks. He's a lawyer. Real estate, mostly. Wills, you know, the basics. 
Okay. No, I don't mean he's boring. He's one of those guys you can kill him. Dependable. What's wrong with that? Not a damn thing. I mean it. Not a damn thing. Well, maybe we should get the bill. Yeah. Listen, why don't you uh, take care of that for me? And I'll be right back. I don't know where he is. I know that, but he left his car at the airport, so I figured he skipped. I told you he doped me. I was locked in the car. Fine, fine. I'm sure he'll be back soon. Speak of the devil. Hello, Uncle. Oh, hi. Paris? When did he go to Paris? Did he say what her name was? Did he mention a friend coming to fix his computer? Tim Jenkins? Are you sure, Amy? Soon. Oh, dinner. Um, I forgot. I'm on my way, okay? Paris? He didn't say anything about you. <sighs> Other things on his mind, I guess. I guess. Good for him. Listen, I have to run. I'm supposed to be giving a dinner party tonight, so. Well, I'm sure it'll just be a couple of days. I'll just wait here. Sure. There's a couple of decent hotels in town. I said I'll wait here. Um, I'd rather you didn't. I understand. Dijon, Sarah. asparagus, baby carrots, wild rice. Amy, it's perfect. Where were you? Lowell's. Oh, Lowell's in Paris. I know. Can you believe it? So, so what were you doing? I'm waiting for him. I didn't know where he was. If a guy's so lonely, he could at least give you a call. Matt. <sighs> Sorry, um... You should have called. You're right. I'm sorry. Now, go away so I can work. What happened? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing all afternoon. Come on, Sarah, throw me a bone. Amy. That's me, Amy. Yeah, nothing. Oh, who's Tim Jenkins? Hi, you've reached the offices of TJ Software, software solutions for the global village. Please leave your name and number and a brief message, and I'll get back to you. Bye-bye. Access to nine. OK, here we go. Hi. Gabriel. I'm nearby. The phones are not secure. Meet me tonight in town. An art gallery, El Mondo Latino. 
after dark. <laughs> I don't take orders from you anymore. We have a long way from trust. Please believe me. Other old friends are also nearby. Old friends? Be careful. I'll explain when I see you. Who is Sarah Fraser? She knows nothing. Don't let anything happen to her. He was so cool, so relaxed. It's like he does it all the time. Does what? Explain himself, put people at ease, get control of situations. I started telling him about Matt. Yeah, well, Matt's your fiance. I don't see anything wrong with that. Defending myself, justifying our relationship to a total stranger. You know, there's something you're not telling me. Like, um, what does he look like? He looks like trouble. That's what he yeah. looks like. Just your type of guy. Uh-uh. I've had my share. They're charming, irresistible, wonderful lovers, lousy friends. They never get married. They turn words like dependable and sensible into insults. They make the good men of this world like Matt look dull and naive, and they always leave you out in the cold. They hurt. I've got the scars to prove it. Touche. Might be my lucky night. <laughs> I'll go get him. He sounds very eccentric, this uncle of yours. Why would, why would he fly an old friend up from, from Washington and then take off and go to Paris? What old friend? There was a message on the phone. There wasn't a message. There was a guy there when I got to the house, waiting for Uncle Lowell. What guy? Timothy Jenkins. He designed software. He said Uncle Lowell invited him for the weekend. And he was in the house? Yeah. Uh, doesn't your uncle lock up before he goes away? He had a key. I mean, he knew where the key was. He obviously knew Lowell. So you just spent the entire day with a total stranger who just showed up in Lowell's didn't house? Didn't you say he was an old man? No, I didn't. He's 35, 40, tall. Well, anyway, I think Uncle Lowell's losing his mind. You know that box he was fussing about? The one with the famous Mexican artifacts? It arrived. It is the ugliest, worst collection of Latino kids you can imagine. Anyway, Lowell's on the phone from Paris saying, put it somewhere safe like it's Aztec gold. What's wrong with him? Here's the Uncle Lowell and his Aztec gold.
you stole it. Uh, we want it back. <laughs> it's not here. Get up. Ah, get up. Uh, One word. I'll blow your brains out. Uh, Somebody here? Hello? Uh -huh. What? When? What'd they take? All right, calm down. I'll be right there. There's been a break-in at the gallery. into the gallery and nothing was stolen? I guess Ricardo scared him off. I'll help with the dishes. I'll finish them in the morning. I'm really tired. It's been a crazy day. You know, you're not supposed to get married if you don't want to. It's not like paying taxes. You know I love you. I know. It wasn't there. It wasn't there. Where is it? Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't be here, would I? This isn't Mexico, Lowell. You're not my commander in chief anymore. Oh! Who is it? It's Tim Jenkins. Uh, any word from Lowell? No. Damn. What's wrong? Well, I booked into the hotel and found out that I was sleeping next to an alternative Celtic punk rock fiddle band from Cape Breton who alternatively drank, jammed, and fought with each other. So I figured, Lowell Schmoll, it's time to go. And I booked out of the hotel, I booked a flight, I head to the airport, flight's canceled. So now I've got no place to stay and I thought I'd come here. 
Do you have any scotch? I think so. I prefer single malt, but anything with alcohol will do. That is the worst story I've ever heard. <laughs> well, the part about the fiddle band was true. I think you better leave. Sir, I... I don't know how to say this. I'll just come out and say it. No, I think it's best if you just... No, I realize that you're engaged and that I am here in a day pass, and I know you think I'm a shady character at best, but I, uh... I wanted to see you. And I knew if I didn't do something, I... I might not get a chance. I'm not gonna stay long. I just want to talk. Just go. Please. If there's nothing I can do to change your mind? Look, um, Tim, you seem like a nice person. I am. But I don't know you from a hole in the ground. And it's light, and I have a lot of work to do tomorrow. So, uh... Good night. It would be in your best interest to treat me with respect. I know about the box and those kitschy artifacts. That's what Amy called them. You know Amy? She's a little firecracker, isn't she? You think she'd like Mexico? I had dinner with her tonight, and Matt and Sarah. You know, Sarah, the beautiful niece. You never told us about her. the hell out of me today. I went in the wrong door. <laughs> so are you looking for me? I was just gonna say, if if you've nowhere else to go, you can you can sleep on the couch if you want. One night. Here's a towel, a blanket. The bathroom's there if you want to wash up. Thanks. I guess Uncle Lola's forgiven. Not by me, he isn't. Good night. Good night. Tim, can I talk to you? Yeah. What is it? It's Uncle Lowell. I mean, he's always been unpredictable, but lately he's been acting strange. He was obsessed about this box of artifacts he had shipped from Mexico. He was really anxious to get it, and then he just... Then he took off to Paris. Yeah. And the box arrives, and it's junk. Stuff that Uncle Lowell would normally sneer at. And then tonight, there was a break-in at the gallery. And the box got stolen? No, nothing was stolen. Ricardo had it in his room. 
Why would anybody want to steal a box of junk? Unless... Well, this is ridiculous. I always had this suspicion about Uncle Lowell. That he wasn't really a diplomat. He was actually, I don't know, some kind of spy. Did you ever think that? No. Matt says Lowell just loves to put this exotic spin on things. Well, like suddenly taking off for Paris. Oh, it's not just the disappearing acts. We spend so much time together and talk so much, but... The truth is, I don't really know much about him. There's something so... solitary about him. Not lonely, just... solitary. Well, what's the difference? Well, you can be by yourself and not be lonely. You think so? I love being by myself. But you're engaged. <laughs> you think I'm getting married to avoid loneliness? No, I didn't say that. I... Maybe, uh, maybe Lowell didn't set out to be solitary. Probably chose a path in life, and that choice had consequences. And and maybe sometimes he does get lonely, but he he deals with it the best he can. You're from the same breed, aren't you? I think that we could probably contact Lowell in Paris and get to the bottom of this. No, Lowell's not so solitary. He's got you. He's lucky. Good night. things you need. Talk to me.
was that? Me? I no, I thought that was the bathroom. I opened my eyes just in the nick of time. <laughs> Go to sleep. Would you prefer to sign for this or pay cash? Get out of here. Well, you're very welcome. Would that be all then? Don't forget the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> To run the gallery is a bit of a mess from last night. I will be having a fit. Well, it's probably just scared. He needs a crutch. He needs a mother. Don't we all? So, uh, could I just tag along? I'd love to see the gallery. Sure, if you don't mind helping me clean up. Ricardo, we can't just put this stuff here. It's junk. See, see. Look, I know it is junk, Sarah. Okay, I know. But it's like. The guy outside the museo, you know, selling the postcards of Mona Lisa? Well, it sets a stage. It makes the gallery and you look silly. Oh, Sara, por favor, you're not listening. Your mind is shocked like a clam. No, Ricardo. I want your work to shine through. Yeah, but... It doesn't need anything around it. Yeah, but... It doesn't need a show. It is the show. <sighs> Oh, you, you read that somewhere. Uh, maybe you heard it on uh, Oprah. Maybe I really meant it. There may be a practical problem you're not considering. You know, if you put the bad stuff out, people might want to buy it instead of the good stuff, which is your work. It's beautiful. <sighs> All right. All right. What's well, just an idea? One more, Amy. Okay, careful. Here you go. It's all there? Absolutamente. You said you wanted to take it home. Oh, adios, amigo. I think it's over for now. you to drive me home, and you're driving too fast. Well, I'm, I'm just not used to these peppy four cylinders, you know? I, I drive a bigger car, as a rule. Car that is? No. You're half a block away. Tim, th this is fine right here. Tim. What are you doing? Tim, where are we going? Stop the car. I want to get out. Hey, hey, hey. You're crazy. Let me hey. out of here. That's dangerous. Don't do that. Where are you taking me? Sir, I know what this looks like, but I'm not going to hurt you. Good. I was worried there for a minute. Let go of my arm. Then keep away from the wheel.
I really need to know what's in that box. By kidnapping me? I'm concerned about your safety. My safety? What's this have to do with Uncle Lowell? I don't know. Like hell you don't. Stop lying to me! Look, it is best that you know as little as possible. Okay. We're gonna get out of the car, and we're gonna go in the house now. And you're gonna go with me. Okay? in that box, you understand me? you didn't know about this. Where is he? I don't know. That's the truth. God's spirit. Thank you. Do they mean anything? Do they tell a story? You pray to them for health and prosperity, sexual potency, children. My wrist is sore. Yeah, well, I don't have time to go chasing you around in the woods. know where she is? Uh, yeah. She said she was gonna do some shopping, get some things for the gallery. Amy, where is she? She uh, also was gonna drop off that box of lols at her house. <laughs> was she with someone? That Tim guy? Yeah, I think so. When did they leave? Matthew, there you are. I was looking for you and Sarah. I want to thank you for a great evening. You're a lucky man. You okay? You look pale. No, I'm fine. Sarah's inside? No, I don't know where she is. She's uh, with that computer man. Tim, where'd they go? I don't know. Is this him? I didn't see him, but Amy did. We need to talk. He's a very dangerous man. You sure our little friend Ricardo put everything in this box? Yes. I have to go to the bathroom. Stay in here with me? No.
When I got that email from Lowell, I hadn't seen or spoken to him for six years. Not since he left Mexico. Why would he ask you to come here and then take off for Paris? He's not in Paris. It was Lowell that broke into the gallery. He's looking for this box, but there's nothing in this damn box. Not that I can find. Could you please tell me what's going on? This is Tim. His real name is Adrian Seville. We all worked for the company. What company? CIA. Lowell was chief of covert operations. He was like God Almighty, and we were his two archangels. Adrian went bad. He crossed over, framed Lowell, drummed him out of the service. Lowell's been trying to get the goods on him ever since. The proof he needs has got to be in that box from Mexico, and Adrian will do anything he can to get to it first. This is nuts. I don't believe any of this. Matthew, you don't have a choice. Sarah's life depends on it. Good cook. For an arrogant, lying son of a bitch. <laughs> so, uh, trust no one? Is that the trick? Which means no wife, no lover, no children. Never be vulnerable. <sighs> I couldn't live like that. Well, I could never marry somebody I didn't love, so there you go. We all have our arrangements with ourselves, don't we? Did I say I didn't love him? Did I say I was lost and lonely? Yeah, I think you were trying to last night. Well, I guess we're just made for each other. Huh? He's a good man. Honest, trustworthy. Not like me. No. Not like you at all. Sarah. Sarah. Sarah! You'd be more stupid than you could possibly imagine. Trust me. I know how to fire a gun, and I'll shoot you if you don't do what I say. You can start any time. The more you know, the more you're at risk. I'm already at risk. At least tell me why. Tim. That guy, Carl. 
That's real estate tycoon? Carl Spencer. What about him? He's not here to buy real estate. He's here to get your uncle. He's after the box. Why? Your uncle was the head of covert operations for the CIA in Mexico. He recruited Carl Spencer and I. We worked for him. He trained us. Six years ago, your uncle was accused of drug peddling and extortion. An investigation was launched, and he resigned in disgrace before an official report was tabled. Was he guilty? I tried to investigate it on my own, but he had me kicked out of Mexico, his last official duty. I haven't seen or spoken to him since. Until I got the email, Sarah. What is supposed to be in that box? I don't know. Something that exonerates him and that obviously incriminates Carl because Carl left the company a year after your uncle. He's a very rich man today. He's got your uncle prisoner. He wants the box and he'll kill him if he gets... Sarah! Sarah, where are you going? The police. No, no, they can't do a thing. It'll be too late. Sarah, if you're... If Carl gets that box, he'll kill your uncle. Listen to me! Sarah! Tim. Have you seen Sarah? I thought she was with you. Well, she took off. Uh, that guy Carl was looking for you. Where's he? He left with Matt. We didn't look too pleased. Where did they go? Lowell's in serious trouble. We need to call the police, but we can't tell Carl about this. Do you understand? Don't talk to Carl. Don't talk to Carl about what? What's he doing here? Honey, Carl's not a developer. He's with the CIA. It's not what Adrian told you, is it? Who's Adrian? Tim. His real name is Adrian Seville. He's here to kill your uncle. Mr. Seville framed Lowell. He made it look like he was taking money from the drug cartel. I believe the proof is in that box. Canceled checks, documents, bank transfers, something. Lowell wants Carl to have the box. Where is it, Sarah? We took it to Lowell's. Tim, Adrian, whatever his name is, he examined every single thing in that box. He couldn't find anything. He's lying. No, there really was nothing. He couldn't believe it either. He freaked. That's when I knew he was lying. So I ran. You ran? He just let you go? I took his car. So where's the box? 
Back at Lowell's, I guess. You are Lowell's niece, aren't you? Run, Matt! <laughs> Knowing what you know now, do you honestly think I wouldn't kill you to get what I want? Where's the box? In the car. Very good. You keep making the right choices. You might live through this. Matt! Sorry, I have to do this. Carl's got her. My fault. No, it's not your fault. It's not one bit your fault. Do you know what I want? Come on, you can tell me it's okay. Don't worry, we're gonna find her. Son of a bitch. What is it? The pier. The shack at the pier. We'll talk. Hold this against your side. Sarah was right. You're a good man. Yes, we need an ambulance. A man's been shot. This is my associate, Mr. Duzak. Bobby, this is Ms. Fraser. It seems that Adrian is in the vicinity, one step behind as usual. It's my fault. Which means I don't have all day, and you have very few options left, Lowell. gets out of here alive. If you tell me what's in the box. You know what's in the box. Yes. Where? It seems that even Mr. Seville couldn't find it. Where are the packing papers? What? The statues are wrapped in packing papers. Where are the packing papers? They're not here. We took the statues out of the box. We must have put them back without the paper. If it's in the garbage, they picked up tonight. We'll be back. I'm not leaving. It's okay, sir. It's okay. He still needs me alive. Goodbye, Lowell. As always, it's been a slice.
You know, you're a stupid man, Lowell. You'd be rolling in dough right now. You could hit anything you wanted. Adrian, let her go. He's gonna kill Lowell. She's very smart. Tell her what to do, Adrian. Do what he says, Sarah. He's not gonna kill Lowell. Very good. Nothing that Lowell Kincaid does is of any interest to the company. He's a drug peddler and a crook. Too many people know, Carl. When the bottle's uncorked... Drop the gun. Drop it. years ago. Found him. I called an ambulance. You okay? We gotta call the cops. Well, what are we gonna tell them, Mo? You got your ID? Yeah. Okay, I'm a retired diplomat. I screwed them over in Mexico. This guy was sent to settle the score. You were tipped off. You rescued us. Okay, he's got no ID. We gotta call the gallery. We gotta get her out of here. You're right. Sarah, I don't want you mixed up in this. You don't want me saying the wrong thing, you mean? Can't help your uncle by sticking around, Sarah. Sarah. Tell them whatever you want. Where are you going? To the hospital. Get rid of the gun. Kind of like old times, huh, Adrian? It's good to see you again, Mom. plans as soon as you're out of here. No, we won't. I think we'll do better as friends. I'm so sorry, Matt. Me too. There's the proof, and it's in Carl's own handwriting. Not even in code, straight out. Dear Mr. Spencer, it's amazing. Why would he write it all down? It's a survival instinct, a paper trail to the big shots, a way to protect his ass. I taught him well. How did you get that? They were trying to clean a house for real this time. I had to pay for it, but uh, it was almost reasonable. So now what, Well. 
And now I want my file restored and a letter of exoneration from the director. Why did you let me think you were guilty? I didn't want you going after him. Carl is tough and he's mean. He would have had you for lunch and dinner. You were like a father to me. You should have trusted me. I just wanted someone to get out clean. Why would you get Sarah mixed up in this? Because I'm old and stupid and lazy, and the gallery was an easy cover. Well, you nearly got her killed. You're in love with her. She doesn't want me. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Ricardo Montero. <laughs> so tell me, Ricardo, is this speaking to you? Oh, me. Sing. I told you, he's a star. Congratulations. Can you forgive me, please? Only if you buy something. Is there anything left? A couple of less than stellar pieces. Done. How's Matt? Healing. We broke off our engagement. You okay? He's a good friend, and he always will be. Well, speaking of healing, uh, how about a weekend in the country, just the two of us, when all this is over? Please? Sara. A glow. Ain't love grand? Is she talking about him? not here. You have to stop doing this to me. This time it's not my fault. Let me guess. No Uncle Lowell. No Uncle Lowell. No note, no card, no cryptic clues. This car has gone too. What are you doing here? I was invited for the weekend. He didn't tell you I was going to be here? No. I'm gonna kill him. Did he tell you I handed him my resignation? No. What are you gonna do? Well, I thought I might go into computer repair. Seems to be the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> But I'm willing to learn. Learn what? 
Whatever you want to teach me. As long as it doesn't involve handcuffs. Class all the way. Lucky you. Unfortunately, I've been evicted from my home. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Oh, don't be sorry, darling. It's all in a good cause. <laughs> May I help you? 